Hello and welcome. In Eativity 3.5, you'll be reviewing some of your fellow participants' course designs using a rubric. In this video, I'll explain and show how to do that. Let's start by looking at what a rubric is. A rubric is an assessment tool. You can use it for assessing your own work, that is self-assessment, or you can use it when you need to assess a fellow student's work. That's called peer assessment or peer review. Teachers and external examiners can also use rubrics when they are grading their students' work. Now, why use a, re a rubric? Well, a rubric contains some very important elements that will help you do a good and constructive review that can help the person whose work you're looking at. The rubric contains assessment criteria, that is, the things that you need to look at and give feedback on are listed. Furthermore, the rubric will describe uh, and explain the levels of performance that a participant can reach. The rubric will describe, well, what characterizes the non-satisfactory performance and what characterizes the satisfactory and the excellent performance. In this way, it becomes easy to assess work and it becomes easy for the person getting the review to have a look at what are my strengths and what are my weaknesses. A rubric should also provide space uh, for the person doing the review to add his or her own words. Uh, what is particularly helpful is to suggest improvements. What can the person do to actually improve his or her work? Now, as you can see on the screen, I've made a copy of the rubric template. I've inserted the name of the person whose course design I'm reviewing, and I've put in my own name. Now I can study uh, and read carefully through the different parts of the rubric. And I think what I'll do is I'll make a review of PP's uh, open educational resources table. What it says about open educational resources identified and selected, this is activity 3-4 um, of module 3. What characterizes the not satisfactory performance is there is no description of any search planned and completed in order to find OER for the course uh, design. No OER are listed. No reflections on either the search or the outcomes have been included. For the satisfactory performance, it says, there is some description of the search planned and completed in order to find OER for the course design. Any OER found have been listed. Some reflections on both the search and the outcome have been included. Now, the excellent performance, it says, is characterized by a clear description has been provided of the search planned and completed in order to find OER for the course design. Any OER found have been listed and clear references have been provided. Detailed reflections on both the search and the outcome have been included. Okay, I now know the criteria, the performance levels. So I'll go and have a look at PP's work in her course design document. I'm looking at the heading, identifying and evaluating open educational resources. In PP's work, there is some description of the search planned and completed in order to find OER for the course design. Now, this is in the column satisfactory. So I'll mark it with my mouse and I'll highlight it using yellow. Now PP can see where she has or how she has performed uh, on that particular score. We also need to look at what PP found and how she has listed it. 
as you can see, she's provided a lot of information in the table. Uh, she's got full references for the OER she's found. There are week numbers, topics, and she's rated each of the OER found. So this must be excellent work. So I'll just mark that in the rubric and I'll highlight it using yellow. The last thing I need to have a look at is Pippi's reflections. Oh, she's written one line here about uh, her search. So I guess there is some reflection. I'll be nice to Pippi and give her satisfactory because she did at least mention her search. Now I need to type in my own feedback for Pippi. What can I suggest her to do? Well, um, as you can see in her table, there are lots and lots of resources. So I could be a bit worried whether uh, she's put too much of a workload on students. Well, right, consider the workload of your students. And I will also let her know, well, perhaps she could have reflected a bit more on her search. So I'll write, it would have been helpful and interesting to know a bit more uh, about your search and uh, your experiences searching for OER. And I would also like to know if Pippi is interested in using OER in her course. Right, this is how you proceed, carefully reading each part of uh, the person whose document you're reviewing and then highlighting the appropriate passages in the rubric so that you signal to uh, the person what did you do well and uh, where could you improve your course design and your reflections. As you can see, you can end by summing up and providing overall feedback. I hope this video will help you make some good constructive reviews that can benefit your fellow participants. Enjoy and bye for now.